Well, hello. Today, we're fortunate to have the lovely Deborah Taveras with us. And most of uh, you probably know who she is. She knows a lot. She has the website uh, stopthecrime.net. Um, and uh, she fights tyranny relentlessly. Um, Deborah? Well, thank you for that nice introduction, Dr. Ed. I want to start out by holding this up and having everyone take a read of this because this is absolutely our reality. And this is also on stopthecrime.net as well so that you can take a look at it there. It says, and this is by former uh, CIA Director William Casey in 1981, it says, we'll know our disinformation program is complete when everything the American people believe is false. And that's where we've arrived. We're virtually in a virtual reality. When you look at page 12 and 13 of the NASA war document, and they talk about the technological ages of humankind, you go through the ages of evolution and now a forced created evolution, a virtual reality of robotization, of, of uh, the truth being the lies and the lies being the truth. We're gonna talk about many things, but I want to uh, just uh, let everyone know that's listening. Uh, what goes forward from here is going to rely upon your engagement. We can no longer consent by lack of education and trusting in a government system that is predatory and is set to consume everything that is good and decent. We are out of control. We do not have a representative government. People need to understand. You can go to stopthecrime.net. Everything on that website is a free download. I would urge everybody to read The Great American Adventure, Secrets of America by retired Judge Dale and the companion book, The Matrix and the U.S. Constitution as soon as possible. Then I would urge everybody to also read Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars. It's a 44-page document. It is a collection of some of the most significant uh, goals of the New World Order. It includes the U.S. Air Force, it includes uh, Harvard University, the International Bankers, and the Rockefeller uh, Institute. Again, that is Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars. So there are many, many documents on the website of StopTheCrime.net. Uh, under the source document link, we have documents that are military documents showing the, uh, showing the purpose of weaponized weather warfare and also weaponized frequencies to subdue the enemy. It's important to understand we are the enemy. In 1933, when America's gold was stolen and we were just coming out of a concocted war called the Great Depression, where our grandparents struggled to survive that intentional war upon the American people, it's important to understand that that was all intentional. It's also important to know that our history has been subverted and has been recreated and has been uh, reinvented. We're living in a false reality. And what occurred in 1933, and of course before that as well, but I'm going to just start there because you can go to stopthecrime.net to the USA uh, link uh, USA Inc. link and download what you're going to hear me talk about right now. Everything that I am talking about has resource backup documents and it's imperative. Uh, we're in a battlefield, we're the enemy, and we must engage. And this is a peaceful engagement. We're not advocating uh, guns because uh, with the levels of technology that they have available now, uh, our guns are mere little... Um, uh, squirt guns, essentially. Uh, and I can tell you that uh, some of the weapons that we talk about in the NASA war plan are chemical and biologicals. 
they have been using chemicals and biologicals. They've been conscripting insects to kill uh, the population. This is a fingerprintless, this is a plausible deniability assault upon the global population. Now, getting back to 1933, what's important to understand is that from that time forward, we have been in an annual uh, extended perpetual state of national emergency here in the United States. Uh, all of the um, government uh, aspects go through the executive branch via executive order. I know many of you scratch your heads and you keep saying, how can the current president, it doesn't matter uh, what political basis that president is, whether it is Democrat or Republican, how can they keep creating executive orders? Well, as long as we remain in a permanent state of national emergency, the Constitution has been abolished and everything goes directly through the executive branch via executive orders. Now, you can confirm this by looking at Senate Report 93549, again under the USAE Inc. link on StopTheCrime.net. Now, uh, I've recently gone to a number of meetings here in Sonoma County. We're about an hour north of the Golden Gate Bridge. We are under heavy assault with climate action plans. These are global plans. Uh, they are a global template. Uh, and I would urge everyone to find this information on the Climate Action Plan link of StopTheCrime.net. At this point, I want to say to any of you who cannot download these documents for free off of our websites, you can contact a printing company that we've made arrangements with. For just the cost of printing and postage, you can get any one of these documents that you hear me talk about. The phone number to contact is area code 707-586-9558. Once again, area code 707-586-9558. Now this is an SOS YouTube recording. We're in an emergency, predatory, vicious takedown by a corporate system that does not acknowledge living, living beings living animals, living anything. It is predatory. Corporations are a fiction. They are uh, a dead legal fiction. And we are being absolutely run over by corporate statutes posing as laws and rules that we have been abiding by because they've been playing checkers and we've been playing chess. We were not educated to understand the corporate reality. And when you look at the Silent Weapons Quiet Wars document, you will see they've told us that the bookkeeper can be king as long as the bookkeeper can keep the methodology of the bookkeeping a secret from the population. So I would recommend you read Silent Weapons Quiet Wars, understand, and understand that the multiple methods in which they are destroying the human family, this is global, is a massive assault, full on bore now. Now, what do I mean by full on bore now? Of course, it's been incremental for many, many decades, uh, but we know that the Star Wars system is set up for full surveillance. We know that the smart meter system is set up not only for surveillance and incarceration and monitoring and tracking, but dicing and slicing our DNA and causing illnesses and damage to our biological structures. Uh, at the top of StopTheCrime.net on the scroll, I urge you to print off the symptoms list for Wi-Fi and for smart meter frequency uh, assaults and what the uh, symptoms are. The list is, is very large. Uh, it in, is imploding the human immune system. We're getting headaches, we're getting fuzzy, we're unable to sleep at night. Uh, we have leg cramps and muscle cramps, cancer, um, autism, ADHD, uh, children's designers diseases. These are all environmentally created uh, to uh, benefit the uh, profit bottom line of Big Pharma and the other corporations. Now, what do we have that we're being faced with right now in each of our communities? It's called the requirement to reduce your greenhouse gas emissions. 
Uh, we know that, of course, this is scientific and political fraud. There are over 31,000 American scientists and thousands of scientists worldwide that are saying we could reduce our greenhouse gas emissions 100 percent and it would not alter the weather. What are these plans really all about? These plans are a script, as if you will, for weaponized weather warfare and economic weaponization of the entire global structure. They tell us that if we do not reduce our greenhouse gas emissions, we're going to have increased sea level rising, we're going to have storms, fires, assaults from all types of horrific weather events. Now they control the weather. Go to ToxicSky.org, take a look at the NASA documents there, NASA's involved, as well as the military and many other corporate global agencies worldwide. So for those of you that have not yet uh, acknowledged or understand the weaponization of the weather and the extent in which they are controlling the weather, you need to understand this is a worldwide, deliberate, large-scale manipulation of the Earth's climate. And they have this capability, and they're doing it daily. Now, over our skies here, an hour north of the Golden Gate Bridge in Sonoma County, we see uh, the uh, weather being amplified every day. We seem to be a staging area for uh, the storms that are being sent across the United States and literally wiping people out of towns, uh, obliterating small rural towns, uh, a disastrous targeting for political and for land grab and for chaos. The more chaos that can be created, the more fear that can be created, we will accept the illusion that we must all surrender to the reduction of greenhouse gas emissions. Again, no amount of greenhouse gas emissions uh, reduction will change the weather events. They tell us if we do not reduce the greenhouse gas emissions along with these amazing intentional weaponized weather events that they're saying are natural, uh, they tell us too that we're gonna suffer from all kinds of health problems, health-related problems. On page nine of the San Diego Climate Action Plan, which you can see on stopthecrime.net under the Climate Action Plan link, you will see a chart, again, with the uh, weather events that are caused by our impact on the globe, uh, and then the health uh, events that will be caused as a result of the weaponized weather events. They tell us that we will have increased allergies. We will have deplay, uh, uh, depression. They talk about mental illness. They talk about airborne illnesses, waterborne illnesses, um, and again, uh, mil uh, mental illnesses. This is discussed in these climate action plans. They are creating a mental illness. In fact, I can recommend that you go to YouTube and you watch the YouTube um, uh, psychi psychology. Psychiatrics is a big business. I, I have that posted on the website so that uh, you can look at that under the Climate Action Plan link. I don't know that I got the name of the YouTube correct, but um, I have it posted at the top of StopTheCrime.net climate action plan link. Understand this is all being staged. We are literally we are literally lab rats in a laboratory. All the human population. We're being annihilated. We're being disappeared. They're taking homeless people off the streets. Uh, they're uh, misinforming us with the census. We are not um, increasing in population. They are vanishing and disappearing many of us the um, indigents and the other uh, people in um, less um, or in impoverished areas are disappearing. The uh, children and the people that are on the roads hitchhiking, they're disappearing. They're disappearing. Hundreds of thousands of children in the United States and globally are disappearing, not only for human sex trafficking and um, uh, experimentation, uh, but they're also harvesting organs. That's enormous big business. 
Uh, there are people being taken into hospitals and having their organs harvested. But I, I want to stay on the idea what you can put your fingers on in your town right now. And I did a recent YouTube video. It was an emergency town hall meeting. You can go to YouTube and type in who's running America. Or you can go to the homepage of StopTheCrime.net and listen to that methodical presentation that we gave on why your cities are incorporated. They're doing business. They're all listed on Dunn and Bradstreet. They do not serve you. You do not have public servants. You have public officials that are, are agents and employees of a corporate structure that is consuming us. Now, we must understand uh, the, the enormity of what we face, and we must engage with not consenting on all levels that we can. This is a paper non-consent that we are advocating. What we have occurring now in our cities is the adoption of these uh, climate action plans or energy action plans, or as they're also referred to, um, greenhouse gas emissions reduction requirements. So you can type this into your search engine with your town. Uh, most likely, if your town has not yet adopted this uh, requirement, they will. Uh, certainly, your states have. Uh, all the governors have taken the money and have initiated these plans. Uh, we have posted some of these um, uh, grants that they've taken to further the uh, plan adoptions in our cities. You need to understand, corporations run on paper. They run on grants, they run on contracts. We need to be asking for the grants, we need to be asking for the contracts. We have not, because we have not understood the system. We're going into meetings constantly. The meetings are run uh, what they call the Delphi technique. The Delphi technique was invented by the Rand Corporation in the 60s. It is a corporate meeting style. It is global. In fact, engineers and scientists of all levels will come out of these meetings scratching their heads, wondering what just happened, that what they had to say did not matter. These meetings weigh in their consensus. The globe is being run on consensus, not real science, not real documentation. Nothing is real. It's all being uh, driven on predetermined outcomes to benefit the corporate structure. Again, take a look at uh, the matrix, the United uh, States Constitution, Again, a free download on StopTheCrime.net under the USAE link. And you will understand nothing is real. Our state and federal governments are not real. We have been betrayed, we have been misled, and we have been in, enslaved by lack of knowledge. The educational system is clearly an indoctrination system. I know for many of you that are looking at this YouTube, you're well aware of the Common Core curriculum. It's an international, a global curriculum. It's certainly sweeping into all the schools in the United States. Those that are opposing it are going to school boards, not realizing the school boards are incorporated. The school boards have taken the money. These programs are being advanced rapidly, despite the pushback against the reduced math and science curriculums in, um, in the uh, Common Core curriculum. It's, uh, again, a further dumbing down. We were all dumbed down. We have not known our history. Um, I'm certain many of you really do believe that Columbus discovered America. Well, of course, that is not real. Uh, and there are many things that we have been deceived. Um, I would refer you uh, to the NASA war document to understand, again, on page 12 and 13. We're now in a phase of virtual reality where humans are being replaced by machinery. Uh, this is all part of the transhumanism agenda that we'll get into in a moment. But we are under mass mind control already. And uh, why, why is that? Well, uh, we have been uh, literally uh, hit with so many levels of frequencies and, and backdoor Trojan horses in our appliances and in our television sets, subliminal messaging in print material for decades. 
Uh, again, I refer you to the uh, scroll at the top of StopTheCrime.net. We have a full page flyer. We talk about what happened in the 90s with the takeover of all of the print material, uh, more of the subliminal messaging, and how this has literally caused global mind control. Uh, in the silent weapons document, we are told they want to control the bankers and those uh, rich men of the earth that they're referred to in the Iron Mountain report. They want to control all energy on the face of the planet. We are energy. They want to control our minds. And you will see that we have an Aquarius operations briefing on the homepage of StopTheCrime.net. The Aquarius Operations was a secret society and is a secret society that was tasked with creating mind control. It's a 50-page document. The last page of that document shows cell phone towers. So when you go on to antennasearch.com, antennasearch.com, and you type in your address, you can find not only a radius map, generally a four-mile radius map, of the cell phone towers, a separate map for the cell phone towers, and a separate radius map for the antennas. And you can type in any address you'd like, your home, your business, your schools, what have you. You will see that these uh, cell phone towers have been systematically deployed globally for the mind control apparatus and the uh, enslavement and incarceration of the global population with frequencies. We do, we do not see them, we cannot touch them, but they are interfacing with the frequencies because we're frequencies. We're frequencies and matter. And these frequencies are overriding our, our computers in our brains. This is what quantum computing and artificial intelligence is all about. We have a link on Stop the Crime called No More Humans. I would encourage everyone to spend some time there. Uh, go to 20, the year 2045.com, that's 2045.com. Understand the intentions of the elimination and replacement of the human population as we have known it now. And along the way, we have met many, many, uh, many, many people that have been subjected to direct targeting with electromagnetic frequencies by the corporate agencies uh, imposing themselves as governments. We do not have representation at all. We are completely being consumed by a corporate structure and we must not consent. I'm talking about um, the year 2045.com. I would recommend that everyone go to StopTheCrime.net, uh, click on the No More Human link. Understand the intended created um, evolution of mankind that those with the money and the methodologies are attempting to do. Now we must learn how our reality is really coming to pass under the plans that they have for us. They've told us in the Silent Weapons Quiet Wars document that they would leech off of us until such time they were able to separate from us when they had enough power and then they would devour us. And I want to uh, talk about an FBI director quote from um, J. Edgar Hoover. This quote is on stopthecrime.net and I would urge you to pass it around, send it out on YouTube, and get this out to everyone you know. Now I'm going to read it to you. This is FBI director's warning. The individual is handicapped by coming face to face with a conspiracy so monstrous he cannot believe it exists. The American mind simply has not come to the realization of the evil which has been introduced into our midst. It rejects even the assumption that human creatures could espouse a philosophy which must ultimately destroy destroy all that is good and decent. And again, this is former FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover. This is in 1956. So it's important to understand the levels of technologies that have been waged against us 
and that have built up to the point where we're a police state now. Another extremely important document, a free download on StopTheCrime.net, uh, would be the report from Iron Mountain. I would recommend you download it and you read it. This will talk about the intentions of continuing the wars globally, which is why we have um, unconstitutional wars, as people call it. Well, we don't have a constitution. It's important to understand that. That's why I've recommended you read The Great American Adventure, Secrets of America, but also read the Iron Mountain Report, because Kennedy warned us only 10 days before he was assassinated that there was a monolithic, ruthless conspiracy set to conscript every aspect of our lives, politically, scientifically, military, civil, every aspect of our lives that has come to pass. Now it's up to us to become educated. It's up to us to understand so that we can create as safe a communities as we're able to in this time of massive, massive betrayal. So what do you do? Well, you must not consent. And you can again go to StopTheCrime.net. We have examples of forms that we've created. Go to the Climate Action Plan link. Print off the uh, questionnaire for the government employees, the corporate government employees. Very soon, the Department of Energy, who's already training uh, assessors to come through your neighborhoods house by house, as well as your local code enforcement in your city, knocking on your door, wanting to assess whether your home is sustainable or not. They're going to measure whether you have air intrusion coming in through your windows, whether you need weather stripping under your doors. You may need added insulation in your roofs or your walls or your floors. You also uh, will be required to replace all of your inefficient appliances to all appliances that are uh, RFID chipped Energy Star electric appliances. Now, why did I say electric? Because Energy Star does not manufacture gas appliances. They are limiting our ability to access resources. The fewer options that they give us, the more control that they have. So in order to prevent the assessment of your home, which is going to be put on a massive data bank. Your, your house is going to be assessed on a scorecard from one to 10. One being inefficient and 10 being efficient. And you will be required to upgrade your homes to reduce your greenhouse gas emissions when your homes are inefficient. Now they will have loans for you. Here in Sonoma County, you can take out a loan and you can collateralize that against your home to purchase all of the um, efficient appliances and to create the efficiency levels within your home. Very important to understand, these are in the plans, these are in the climate action plans. These are global, these have hit the United States, they're in every single town, everywhere. They're increasing revenue, they're making it more and more difficult for people to own single family homes, why? because they're stealing the land. Uh, I would urge all of you to go onto YouTube and watch a video entitled Torn From The Land. That's Torn From The Land by Lindsay Williams. And you will understand how the bankers influenced the, the land grabs in the 40s and 30s and 50s from the US farms and farmers and ranchers. This is happening now. We recently went to the Bundy Ranch we know that Clark County, where the Bundy Ranch is located, has a climate action plan. Uh, when you uh, have an approved climate action plan, which we all do basically now, if you are outside of your city growth boundary, in other words, you can go to your building department and you can get a, a layout of what the urban growth boundary looks like, where the boundaries are, you can determine whether you are in that urban growth boundary within the city limits, so to speak, or outside of the city limits. If you are outside of the city limits, you are considered sprawl and unsustainable. 
and those are the properties that are under massive assault now here in Northern California and in other states that we've traveled in as well. They're not doing any road repair in rural areas. Why? Because we're not going to need to access those roads to properties that are going to be unavailable to us to access. This is the plan. This is being stealthily done. All our road gas tax money has been stolen. And now they're saying that they want to increase revenue again so that they can continue to improve our roadway. That's all mis misinformation. They're lying. We're under a corporate structure. This is revenue-based. They're stealing from us, and they're stealing our minds. So I would urge you to uh, first understand that the weaponized weather events have been happening for a very long time. Understand that we're under a massive economic warfare attack as well through these plans. And also understand there are going to be many people in your community talking about things that are unfamiliar to you, such as hearing voice to skull in their heads, voices in their heads, such as um, not being able to sleep well at night, feeling like they're being burned, and they are, and feeling like there are physical assaults upon their bodies, feeling as though they're being gang stalked because they're seeing people follow them. This is a reality. This is happening in every single city, in every single country across the globe. This is the new form of warfare in our cities. Now, I, I appreciate that Dr. Ed introduced me originally, uh, and I know that we would like to talk about mind control and the uh, degrees in which mind control is occurring in our neighborhoods and in our communities and globally to really everybody. And what that means with artificial intelligence and the reality to literally have a global brain, in other words, to feed the global thoughts and emotions into a global brain. Because Dr. Ed, when we went recently uh, to a um, program that Al Gore put on, he introduced his new book called The Future. And he talked about the global brain and how technologies were advancing faster than in any, any time in history. And we were going to literally become a global brain. Well, uh, Deborah, you've uh, certainly given us uh, an enormous amount of information and uh, well documented. And so I guess, you know, I would have to ask you at this point, when are you going to give us the bad news? Well, Dr. Ed, I guess um, it really does appear that there's quite a bit of bad news. It depends on how you look at it. What I have found, quite frankly, uh, is the more that you start to understand your reality and getting out of the fairy tale that you've been living in, the illusion, the more empowered people are feeling. And then you realize the level that you must engage and we must not consent. And we must start with the simplest things that we can do, and that is not consent with these home in-home energy audits. We must not consent to a variety of requirements and statutes that your cities are going to start to impose upon you. These are all statutory corporate rules and regulations. They do not apply to us. They told us over and over again in their documents that their success is based on our consenting. Mm -hmm. And we're consenting because we have been enslaved by lack of intentional lack of knowledge. This was all planned. We're sitting here today because we as human beings are on the precipice of annihilation. And unless we engage, unless we wake up, turn off the sports channels, start looking at reality, start having meetings within your communities, looking at some of the information that we talk about on StopTheCrime.net and other sites as well, and read some of this. In fact, the Silent Weapons Quiet Wars document is up on YouTube being read to you so that people don't even have to read. But they literally, we found on the um, uh, U.S. Um, Department of Energy website, uh, and again, people can see this on StopTheCrime.net under the Energy Action Plan, where they talk about the real goal of energy use. They say it's not to use any energy at all. It's learning to live in a new reality, adjusting our behavior. This is the Hunger Games. This is really the Hunger Games. Well, um, 
Do we want to talk about mind control at this point, or should we take a break? Well, um, I think that we should talk about mind control. Okay. They're not taking any breaks. So, um, will you let us talk us about mind control? Well, you know, I think <laughs> They said that we can. They, oh, we can. <laughs> yes, okay. okay, so you're having subliminal mm. messaging occurring right now. Well, Voice to skull. But, but yeah, let's, let's do, because I certainly know many people that are experiencing uh, tracking and monitoring, uh, voice to skull. They're literally uh, runners. They have to move from place to place, because as soon as they're, they're, they're people that have RFID chips. Now, not everyone has RFID mm -hmm. chips, but many do. And as soon as they locate... All of us soon. Well, they absolutely. Get their way. Well, yeah, through yeah. the aerosol. Uh, we, they will be um, dispersing um, aerosol uh, chipping into us through the nanotechnology. But at this moment, many people have been chipped, and they've been identified, and they've been tracked and monitored as a result of their chipping. Brave New World. Well, this, I have, I'm holding a book here uh, by uh, Robert Duncan, uh, Project a Soul Catcher which talks about this technology of mind control or mind sway may be one, another way of putting it because, you know, it's not exactly like they're uh, flying an airplane most of the time, but it's, I think people are just kind of pushed one way or another. And online there's another uh, source by Robert Duncan, uh, which is uh, The Matrix uh, Deciphered. You can find that online. We actually have it posted uh, under the mind control link of stopthecrime.net. That's the, um, the matrix deciphered by Robert Duncan. People can access it and download it there as well. Now, you, uh, you had something you were going to uh, tell me about, about uh, mind control. And uh, you, you said that, that Robert Duncan is under mind control? Well, he admits that in his book called The Matrix Deciphered. Uh, that he also is apologizing to the world for being um, uh, one that was duped into creating technologies that have caused the abilities that are now being advanced through technologies. He's apologized. He has also said he's working on technologies to help reverse it. But we see it just increasing. I, I don't see it um, backing off at all. I, I'm being told that there are many people that are working to help reverse what we're living in right now. Um, but quite frankly, with the deployment of all of the technologies to the degree that they have them, what, are your, what is your sense of our, of our future, Dr. Ed? Well, uh, we have to uh, take hold of it and make it what we want. Otherwise, it's not going to be anything we can tolerate. I think that this, the new facilities, that they, they, there's great talk of uh, collecting data, you know, of uh, all phone calls, any uh, little league score or, you know, shopping list. I think that the uh, facilities that they're building, like the Buffalo uh, in the, the, Utah. Oh, the, the, yeah. yeah, the, the they, NSA. Uh, they're, they're, they say that they're, uh, you know, data collection. They, uh, they uh, infer that. But they're really, uh, I think, mind control stations because well, this is uh, highly developed technology and um, has been with us uh, way longer than we think, probably uh, more than uh, close, to, uh, close to 60 years. Well, that's true. In fact, I was doing some research out of Pennsylvania, and I came across uh, the rebuilding of future cities. And I have that posted, again, on the Climate Action Plan link of StopTheCrime.net. They've since taken it down, but you can get it there. We, we captured it. What we found, Dr. Ed, is that all future cities are going to have large facilities for um, computers. And they've said that they need a, a, a very high, um, they need an ability to access um, electricity and water. And uh, what we see now is, of course, the creation of the idea of scarcity with us, where they're telling us, get off grid as best you can, although it's illegal to be off grid. People that are off grid are having their homes red tagged. Uh, we see that in the Antelope Valley. There was a woman in 
uh, Florida recently who uh, literally was told her house was being condemned because she did not want to uh, connect to um, any resources. Mm -hmm. But what we find is that the curious aspect of why do they want us off of the grid, the frequency, the network, the utility network, um, certainly some have speculated that they want all of that frequency because it's all weaponized. They've got the dirty electricity. Right now we've discovered, too, that they've increased the height of the telephone poles, the utility poles. They're transitioning from the wood poles that we've all been familiar with to 90-foot steel poles. They say the reason that they're increasing the pole height, specifically around schools and neighborhoods, mm -hmm. is to distance the EMF, electromagnetic frequencies, from us. We know that that's not real. Mm -hmm. We know that they're not doing anything to serve us. In fact, Sam Milham recently said that heightening the poles will allow greater uh, dirty electricity uh, expansion. So what we have is we're being... Um, we're being really cooked overhead with all the heavy metals in the chemtrailing uh, program, all the dirty frequencies now in our house wires, in the ground, and all of the cell phone towers and the, cell, the antennas, uh, all of the wireless that we have. In fact, Honeywell, uh, who manufactures uh, thermostats for homes, uh, is saying part of the reducing of your greenhouse gas emissions is to purchase new Honeywell thermostats. These have all Trojan horse backdoor traps built into them. Yes, let's take a look at this um, um, poster here. Can you get, any, get up there? Why don't we take a look at this, uh, this face, turn it around here. What do you suppose is wrong with Bill Casey? Why, why, would, why would he be what he is? Why would he want to, uh, why would he want the American public to, be, to everything that we believe to be false? What, what is wrong with him? And what is wrong with uh, all of the other um, bullshit merchants uh, out there and uh, petty tyrant, tyrants and big. What, what is wrong with him? There's something, there's something wrong with him. Um, wh wh I know that um, the author of uh, uh, political ponderology, Andre Lobachevsky, if I can say that correct, talked about uh, these people, uh, or uh, at least some of them, as being para-homo sapiens. They're not really human. They're not really uh, physically human. But I know that a lot of the, uh, or most perhaps, of the people who are doing this stuff are probably uh, physiologically homo sapiens, but they're acting like they're not homo sapiens. They're not acting like they're, or they're behaving without uh, empathy and uh, without ethics, and certainly um, they, they're addicted to the lie. Well, you know, we also see that reality, though, in the corporate structure, right. because the corporate structure is void of recognizing life. And so we have a machine that has been built uh, by those in power, uh, whoever you want and however you want to consider the identity of those in power. Uh, I like to think of it as far as the banking system and the, uh, the families that have all the wealth on the face of the planet. There are many other, um, uh, you know, aspects to identifying that. But we know that we have people that are psychopaths and sociopaths that are at the helm of our ship, our spaceship Earth. And they're, they're, we're headed into the rocks because, again, uh, they do believe now that they have the ability to live forever. And they believe that they can do away with humans and uh, literally turn us into cyborgs, which is what they're working on now. This is why we have poisonous food supplies. This is why we have poison and neurotoxins in the water supply and chemtrailing. This is why we're getting GMO, despite our opposition to all of these things. These things are legal. Now think about that. These things are legal. 
all the poisons and toxins are legal. Why? Because we have a corporate structure. Well, they're not really legal in terms of the uh, Constitution. They're legal in terms of these statutes, right, well, to de that are designed to, to destroy us. Well, we don't have a Constitution now. We were told in 1933 in the United States, as long as we remain in a perpetual state of national emergency, the Constitution has been put aside. Now, I know there are many people that uh, still believe that we can resurrect the Constitution. Um, I would like to, of course, see that for my grandchildren and everyone. Uh, but sadly, the structure's not there. There's no framework for the Constitution to rest upon at this point. Because when you look at the facts, we don't have state or federal governments. We don't have a, a, a judiciary system that serves us. They serve the corporate structure. It's been methodically, incrementally designed to imprison us. So we're at a point right now where we simply cannot consent. There's, I don't see any other way around the dilemma that we all face and the reality that we're really living in other than to not consent. And that means to not consent to the corporate statutes. That's what this means. So we have uh, many recommendations. There have been hundreds of people across the United States that have been working on uh, ways in which you cannot consent. It doesn't mean that you become belligerent. It doesn't mean that you have to go outside of your comfort zone to ask a corporate um, employee to fill out these forms. But the forms are basically about showing you that you've agreed to these corporate statutes. You want to see your wet ink signature that you've agreed. Because you cannot be held responsible for policies that, first of all, you know nothing about. And second of all, you never agreed to. And I would like to think it's as simple as what you're hearing me say, but we've got to stop consenting to a corporate structure. We have got uh, people in, in town councils, in county board of supervisors, that don't understand the, the structure that they're in. They don't realize that they're working for a corporation when their cities and towns are incorporated. They somehow or another think that they're incorporated so that they can have liability benefit, uh, tax write-off benefit. They don't realize that they're incorporated to do business. And they're doing business by creating increased revenue on all of us. And that's what's happening. So I look at this monster out of control. I look at the mind control. I look at all of the levels, as Kennedy warned us. What's behind the corporate structure? What's controlling the corporate structure? Well, of course, we can look at how it was stealthily put into place when we look at the Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars document. Uh, they talk about um, the bankers. There are many levels of this conversation, as you're well aware of, Dr. Ed, and I would rather keep people to the reality that we have paperwork in our cities right now that you can go. You can go online. You can go to your building department or your planning department. You can get copies of these climate action plans or these sustainability plans. We have enough of, I, I, I see enough of a problem in just getting people to understand that level of reality. That's why we have different links on StopTheCrime.net for different levels of opportunity for people that have already assimilated the documentation, such as reading the Silent Weapons Quiet Wars document the report from Iron Mountain, uh, taking a look at the other source documents we have on the source document page, and then getting in to the levels of mind control. Now, I want to say, Dr. Ed, um, we have spent quite a bit of time recently interviewing uh, runners that are running from the chips and the tracking and the torture that they're being subjected to on a daily basis uh, by um, ground teams once these people are located as a result of their chips, then uh, ground teams come in and they use cell phones. Literally, our bodies, their bodies have been turned into a cell phone where these chips uh, can be called by a cell phone. And they experience horrific pain, 
headaches, gut-wrenching nausea. They can be dropped to the ground. They can wake up a few hours later on a bed and having had been sexually assaulted, for example. So these, uh, these gang-stalking teams are basically uh, psychopaths running around uh, using a, a very advanced technology. Well, isn't, wouldn't that be what it is? Well, I, I'm understanding that there's lots of people that want to make a buck and that they can be college students, they can be a sheriff and police, uh, military, all levels, um, white supremacists, etc. And many of them are told that that person has done something and uh, that has caused the assaults upon them. Uh, many people are getting drugs as payment for stalking. A lot of people, yes, are sociopaths and psychopaths, and they love to torture people. Well, you know, how did they get that way? How did a society that was functioning pretty well, you know, uh, leave it to Beaver or whatever, the popsicle index of uh, Catherine Austin Fitz, how did we deteriorate so far, so fast? Well, we have, we have as a uh, former um, CIA director mm -hmm. told us, we have a level of evil amongst our, our, in our midst that we, we can't see. We don't understand it. But it is set to devour all that is good and decent. So we know we're here near Bohemian Grove. We know that they do uh, satanic ritual human sacrifices on children. We know that that is all part of the secret society rituals that are performed globally. We know that children are abducted uh, and uh, murdered uh, as a result of being sacrificed for these uh, ritual. There's another aspect of the, of the mind control. Remember the Sandy Hook thing in which um, apparently nobody was killed. Uh, there was a big show with people walking around and paramedics and the, uh, the coroner said he was leaving the bodies there overnight. I mean, can you imagine how people would struggle to save a classroom of children and, and, and you know, real, real paramedics, real people, and they wouldn't just, you know, walk around and uh, they wouldn't leave the bodies there overnight. And, uh, and then that a lot of, um, I guess, a lot of uh, real estate had changed hands at a zero um, price. Uh, before this, so it looked like an entire community had somehow been uh, horribly turned and contaminated. And uh, I have to think that probably the electronic mind control may have had something to do with that. And that uh, the electronic mind control is uh, functioning uh, at various levels uh, on everyone. I mean, would you th do you think that there's any chance that, let's say, uh, the highest level, the president, the cabinet, all kinds of people like that, are uh, exempt from um, electronic mind control? Oh, absolutely not. In fact, I think that most of the power brokers globally are already under massive mind control. Um, certainly, people that are in a level of authority would be directly assaulted. In fact, I know that people have done an antenna search of uh, Washington, D.C., and they're heavily infiltrated with microwaves. Uh, that, that has been observed. In fact, back even in the 70s, there was concern with all the dogs and all the police that were constantly around the Capitol when um, uh, Congress was in session, et cetera. And people were feeling nervous and scared even back then. Mm -hmm. And we know that the Russians directed energy weapons on Medford, Oregon in the early 70s mm -hmm. and caused, uh, within about a 48-hour period of time, 24 um, suicides. Uh, they were mm -hmm. testing the degree of the influence of frequencies on our brains. So absolutely, when we look at Sandy Hook, another interesting thing is Sandy Hook is cons was and is considered a transition town, transition town. You can type in and see if your city is considered a transition town. 
I know that here, Ed, in uh, Northern California, there are a number of cities that are transition towns. Well, they tell us that transition means that we're prepared to come out of any type of emotional or weather type of chaos. And so really what they're doing is they're, they, they've got us in this matrix, this, this um, virtual reality, where they're pounding us with weaponized weather, they're um, using um, weaponized insects and bugs. We recently found out here in Northern California that there's a mosquito that has uh, been identified to be a carrier of yellow fever and dengue fever. And there's no antidote, there's no poisonous pharmaceutical toxin that can help you out of the weaponized uh, bite of this, um, of this mosquito. But uh, I found it interesting because in some of the recent meetings that we've been attending about the water shortage and the idea that we have to uh, catch it, uh, stop it, catch it, and sink it. I think I got that right. In other words, when it rains, we have to contain the water. They want us to have divots in our property, et cetera. And yet the, um, the vector control is saying don't store water on your property. These, uh, these uh, mosquitoes have been identified in our area. And they will cause um, uh, arthritic conditions, sleeplessness, and possible capillary bleed out and people will die, depending on the level of your immune system. Well, who's doing this? Why are they doing it? What, what is the motivation here? They're reducing the population, and they're having fun, and they're enjoying it. Well, um, so um, the people who put on smart meters and enjoy it, doing it? I think that they have a level of, of um, employees that are unaware. They're compartmentalized. Mm. They really are unaware uh, what the meters are doing. And they're being told that people that oppose these things are nut jobs. Well, and compartmentalization is a big thing. And, of course, it's not limited to blue-collar people, but it's probably most prominent and uh, destructive in uh, universities and uh, government and uh, what, what's passing for government in the, in the, the uh, intellectual spheres where... Um, People are incredibly isolated and uh, uh, censor themselves or, or, or are censored um, intensely. So um, it's just not somebody installing a, a smart meter. It's um, the uh, allegedly upper levels that are um, incredibly uh, isolated. Well, um, that's, that's absolutely true. Um, and it's, uh, it's a maze. And that's why we have so many links on StopTheCrime.net for people to research uh, the documentation that we have. We encourage everyone to uh, get the word out. I know that many people are putting uh, magnet signs on their vehicles to get the information out. We're the media. This is it. This is it. You've got to spread this information far and wide, get it out as far as you possibly can, uh, go to the source documents that you've heard us speak about. Confirm this for yourselves. I can tell you initially, I did not know what I did not know. And I can say that every single day, uh, we seem to be plummeting further in to this insanity. And it certainly has seemed to speed up. I don't know if it's because more and more people are becoming aware, but please, I would urge everyone go to stopthecrime.net and become informed and educated.